Hi, it's Chris, and we're in the backyard container garden, and um, we finally have some tomato hornworms that have begun to mature out as adults. And this may seem repetitive with the several videos focusing on these uh, creatures, but it's important because each video, each lesson helps you build upon your experience and knowledge from the other and for your own personal garden. Before when the tomato hornworms were very small, the damage was, well, minimal, it was small. Just a few missing leaves here and there, a tolerable pest amount of damage. But now that they've matured into adults, we can see that in a night or two, what they'll do. These would have all been blossoms out here and so now there's a loss of fruit. The plant has been defoliated here and over here, there. The, all this damage here is the tomato hornworms. That area there should look like this area here. So in a small garden the damage is pretty much intolerable. So now that they've reached their size and get an idea just even right here <laughs> that looks like a rat poop but it's actually a turd from the tomato hornworm and if you haven't seen them already lurking in the background here there is one and now we see just how big these things become. I mean, here's my pinky finger, and this thing is full length. It's not even stretched out. And here we have its head. So this big beastie well, consumes quite a bit of food to reach this mass. And it's still got, got another week or two before it's ready to pupate. It's going to fall into the soil and then pupate and then emerge as a very large moth laying a whole new generation of eggs. Well, we're going to help them along in this process. Here, begin to show some control measures this pest and the other uh, loopers or caterpillars in the garden. So we've got this guy. He's going to go in here into the bucket. And we've got another big beastie. Again, an absolutely enormous little critter consuming a very large amount of foliage. <laughs> he didn't even stop. He just probably treated like the wind was going. He just kept on chewing. Now once they've pupa once they're pupating, they are susceptible to the treatment of beneficial nematodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the bucket. I'm going to give them some selective foliage that I don't want it on here or don't really care if it's missing. This guy here is getting in a position to consume the emerging flower blossoms that are right there in the middle. And we can see the damage done to this one plant right here, all wiped out. And then the back, back here, the upper canopy and the blossoms were wiped out. There's still a few blossoms down below. And the several that are here would become many more when this generation begins to lay its own eggs. So when you're scouting in your garden, you're not always going to see your pest from the top. Again, you're, they're always most often going to be on the bottom of the leaves. So scouting, you find little turds. We know that there's a pest here. 
and need to take a more aggressive look and try and locate them. So that's our segment on the adult tomato hornworm. I'm going to now give them some foliage and uh, force them to pupate. We've got our two uh, adults here now. Yeah, as I'll pull them out. I guess, you know, if we were Gordon Ramsay in Thailand or Vietnam, we might try cooking them in peanut oil or coconut oil. But, eh, I'll pass.